Hello my friends and welcome to Wall Street Wannabe. My name is Dino Belankov and I will try my best to teach you everything I know about finance. In this episode, we'll cover the differences between private and public side of the business in investment banking. So let's get to it. The private side of the investment banking business encompasses groups that have access to inside company information. And they're typically separated from the public side of the investment banking business by something that they originally call Chinese wall. That's an actual term in the industry. The way I think about private side of the business is uh, in two different types of groups. One is industry groups and the other one is product groups. So for the industry groups, think about industry groups as a healthcare group, energy group, industrials group, uh, technology group. And these are professionals that become experts in a particular industry, but they cover a wide range of products. So they'll work, let's say, for example, technology uh, group investment bankers. They'll focus on technology companies, but they'll do M&A for technology. They'll do IPOs for technology. They'll do debt offerings for technology. On the other side, product groups are the opposite. So uh, M&A is a good example of a product group. These bankers become experts in M&A, but they'll do M&A for automotive companies, for healthcare companies, for technology companies, and so on. Um, another important thing to note is that uh, private side, um, even though it has access to this very uh, important inside information, uh, they cannot use it to their own benefit or somebody else's benefit. So when you hear about uh, cases of insider trading, that is probably because some kind of private information was leaked out in public. The public side of the business includes sales and trading and research. And these individuals who work in these functions have access only to information that average Joe has access to. Think about annual reports, press releases, SEC filings, news reports, stuff that you and I could access right now within minutes on the internet. So even though these individuals oftentimes work in the same building as their private side counterparts, there are very strict regulations that prevent pr confidential information from leaking to the public side of the business. And that fictional wall, it's called Chinese wall. So just to recap what we've learned here, one way to think about splitting a bank is between private side and public side. On the private side, the groups have access to inside company information, and they're typically split between industry groups and product groups. And then they're divided by a fictional Chinese wall from the public side of the business. The public side includes sales and trading and research. And the folks who work on that side of the business have only access to publicly available information, stuff that you and I could access right now. So thank you for watching and see you soon.